Hi, this is Michael, and this is my review of the Omano OM36 Binocular Compound Microscope. This is it right here. It's covered right now, and you always want to keep your microscope covered when you're not using it to keep dust off the lenses. And this is one of the accessories that is provided, the nice little plastic cover. Uh, you also get a few other things. This is an AC adapter, which is uh, 120 to 240 volts, 50 or 60 hertz, so that can be used internationally. And you're going to use that adapter to plug into the back of the microscope here to charge the battery. And the reason there's a battery in this microscope is this has a rechargeable LED light for the illumination. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in just a moment. You also get a small bottle of immersion oil for the 100x objective lens. And finally you get a blue filter which you can put right over the light. Uh, and you also get a little hex wrench. Now the microscope itself is uh, quite robust in construction. This is a great student microscope and it's great for enthusiasts as well. It's a very reasonable price and yet for the low price that this is, um, it's quite competent. Um, this has a mostly metal body on it, a little bit of plastic up here, but everything else is pretty solid. And uh, this has four objectives and you, you've got 4x, 10x, 40x, and 100x. And then the eyepieces are 10x and uh, these are wide field eyepieces. No eye cups are provided and also there is no, um, there's no set screw to hold the eyepieces in. So that's actually important to know because the um, eyepieces have to be installed when you get the microscope. Actually the entire head assembly needs to be installed. It's very easy to do, but if you take the head off for whatever reason, you want to make sure you first take the eyepieces out, otherwise they could fall out because there is no set screw. Now regarding the head, uh, it just installs very easily. There's this screw here that you just tighten down a little bit. And one of the nice features about this head is it does rotate around 360 degrees. So uh, you can view whatever you want to view from any angle around the microscope. The uh, eyepieces are 10x as I mentioned and there is a diopter adjustment on the left eyepiece. So when you use this microscope you focus first to your right eye and then you fine tune the left eye adjustment using the diopter. And you also have a pupillary distance uh, adjustment here for your two eyes uh, to get this adjusted to your head just right. Some other nice features here is it does have the rechargeable LED illumination as I mentioned and it has also got adjustable brightness uh, and that is accomplished by this knob over here. Now one thing I did notice about this is with one charge, uh, it only takes about a half an hour to charge the battery, uh, this will give you a full day's worth of illumination which is really great. It means you can take this out in the field with you. Uh, but I did notice that when you're adjusting the brightness, once you get to the higher ranges of brightness, uh, it does sort of flicker as you're adjusting. Once you set your brightness, it doesn't flicker, but there's something a little weird going on there uh, with the adjustment of the brightness. Uh, it's not a, not a deal breaker by any means, but just something that I've noticed that I wanted to pass along. Now this has a nice large stage on it, and it has, it has a drop-down XY control here for uh, moving your slide around and it also has a very nice spring-loaded slide clamp here so to hold your slide uh, securely into place and uh, as far as the objectives go you have 4x, 10x, 40x and 100x in conjunction with the 10x eyepieces, that means you have 40x, 100x, 400x, and 1000x magnification. And the 40 and the 100x objective lens have a spring-loaded tip on them, which is really helpful, especially for um, the more inexperienced users. Uh, that helps prevent you breaking a slide if you don't have your stage set just right and you swing that objective around or if you're just doing a coarse focus and you're not paying attention sometimes you can just snap a, a slide right in half. Uh, that spring-loaded tip there will help prevent that sort of accident. 
uh, it's very it's a very nice overall microscope. Um, this is the coarse adjustment and this is the fine adjustment. Again, this is a what's called a coaxial, and uh, that's because both knobs are on the one uh, shaft here. And coarse adjustment and the fine adjustment for left or right-handed people, uh, you've got one on each side, which is really convenient. Now, the only uh, other thing that I've noticed here is the fine adjustment, particularly at the 100x level, um, is a little coarse and it's not quite as precise. Uh, but again, keeping the price in mind, uh, it's certainly reasonable. And one other control that you do have here is you can control the focus of the illumination just by this adjustment. So I really have been enjoying this microscope quite a lot uh, and I think it's great for students and enthusiasts and if you have any questions uh, leave me a comment. I'll answer it if I can. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Have a great day.